So one problem you might come across is you're given three points and you want to find if you make a triangle from these three points uh, if it will form a right angle triangle or not. So how we should do this in linear algebra is we can connect these by making vectors. So we can make a vector here. For example, we can make vector AB, we can make vector BC, and we can make a vector AC as well. And we can find out what the components of these are by taking the difference of their coordinates. So we can just say something like this. AB is what looks like maybe is 1, 2, 2, negative 4. Now BC, vector BC would be equal to well 4, 2, just by looking at it. And vector AC, let's see what vector AC would be would be, well, 6, negative 2, by taking the difference of their components, coordinates, sorry, 6, negative 2. Now, we know that two vectors are orthogonal if their dot product is 0, and we know that in R2 that those two vectors are perpendicular to each other, and to have a 90 degree angle, they would have to be perpendicular. So this triangle, by looking at it, this looks like a 90 degree angle, but we're not sure yet because we actually haven't done it. But let's just start with that. Let's start with uh, the dot product of vector AB with BC because it looks like it might be a right angle. So if we have AB dot BC, I can write it out. Put arrows over top. And this would equal vector AB 2, negative 4 dot. 4, 2. And when we take the dot product of this, we would find that it's 2 times 4. Here, I'm going to write it out. 2 times 4 plus negative 4 times 2, which equals 8 minus 8, which gives us 0. And there you have it. We found that these two vectors, AB and BC, are orthogonal to each other. And so that would give us a right angle here, in fact. And now that we've found the right angle, we don't actually we don't even need to test to see if vectors AC and AB were orthogonal, or maybe we were looking for BC and AC. Um, it's a right angle triangle, it only has one right angle. So we did find the two vectors that were orthogonal. So yeah, these three points up here do give us a right angle triangle. Now if we were to look down at this, these points down here, if we make vectors between them to make the triangle, we can make vector EF, we can make vector FG, and we can make vector EG. So let's write these out. Let's say vector EF is equal to 3, 3. And vector FG do that one next. Vector FG is equal to, well, it's, um, it's equal to 2, negative 3. And vector EG, this is our last vector in our triangle, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's equal to 5, 0 just by looking at it. Could have subtracted 6 from 5 and negative 6 from negative 6 to get the same vector. Now we're looking at this and just by inspecting it we can't really tell. This one looks like it could be a right angle but that might just be my drawing. So we'll check. Let's start taking dot products. Let's take the dot product of EF with FG because that looks like it might be a right angle. So EF dot EG EF dot FG, sorry, I'll write it out. EF dot FG. And that would equal EF is 3, 3 dot 2, negative 3. 
and this would equal, let's see, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3 times negative 3, so it would be 6 minus 9, which is equal to negative 3. So the dot product is not 0, so these two vectors are not orthogonal. So we're going to check the next two angles. Let's check EF with EG. So vector EF dot EG. And this looks like EF is 3, 3 dot EG, which is 5, 0. And when we take this, we say it would be 15 plus 3 times 0, which is 0. So we go to 15. Again, now we found out that this vector here, EF and EG, are not orthogonal, so there's no right angle there. And so that leaves only this one and could possibly be a right angle. So let's just check it out to make sure, because I could have just drawn this inaccurately. So let's test vector FG. Vector FG dot vector EG. And this is, well, FG is 2, negative 3. Dot EG. Where's EG? is 5, 0. We find this to be 2 times 5 is 10, plus negative 3 times 0, plus 0 is equal to 10. So there we go. We tested each possible dot product of these three vectors, and none of them equaled 0, so this triangle is not a right-angled triangle.